Hello and welcome everyone to the Tower Project. Today we're going to be tackling part two of our Medieval 2 Experts Guide series. And we're going to be dispelling some more myths about units that people think are bad and useless in competitive play. Now last video we talked about pikemen and how to make pikemen work in multiplayer and campaign and in whatever aspect of gameplay that you need them to be useful in. And we talked about different strategies and tactics that you can employ to have pikemen generate tremendous value for you. Well today, I'm going to be showing you the cousin of the pike, the halberd. Now, the halberd is even more notorious for being useless in competitive play than pikes. Because at least pikemen can stop cavalry. Well, let me tell you, as great of a value as pikemen can generate... Halberds can generate even more when used properly. Let me demonstrate this for you. So I'm here in a little single player custom battle, and I'm going to be playing as the Papal States because, of course, they have the best halberds in the game, the Swiss Guard. And they also have access to Pike and Halberd Militia, which you'll see later. And I just chose, let's just go against Poland. We can go against anybody. Um, but figured we've been doing a lot of uh, going against France recently, so I figured we'd switch it up. So... Like last video, I'm going to start off by showing you some of the misconceptions people have on how to use halberds and where a lot of player frustrations come from when utilizing halberds. So we're going to get a Swiss Guard, and we're going to go up against some dismounted Polish Knights. Same thing as Chivalric Knights stat-wise, uh, exact same unit, just a different skin. And we're going to go ahead and uh, jump right in here. All right, so let's start off by showing you guys the most defensive way that people use halberds. We're going to start off with having spear wall active and guard mode active. And you're going to see when I start the battle and speed it up, they got to do their little taunting thing first. Uh, but once I speed it up, they're going to kneel down the front rank and they're going to form their little spear wall thing. Just like the pikes do. Uh, but you can see these guys have another row where they put their halberds over the shoulder of the other guy. It does look pretty cool. And we're going to take a nice little cinematic view here, watching those Polish knights come in. And we're going to see how this battle turns out. I'm not going to micro anything, not going to touch anything, just going to let the battle play out naturally on six times speed here. Only intervention by the and you can see we're losing pretty bad. Our general goes down there. And perhaps our chances of victory with it. My lord, only half our force remains. And you can see my men are just continually getting pushed back, getting killed, just like anyone would expect them to in vanilla. But keep in mind, these Swiss Guard cost 890 florins. Those dismounted Polish Knights only cost 610. So, Polish Knights just generated a tremendous amount of value massacring that Swiss Guard. And you can see we only killed four of the Knights. So, pretty terrible performance. And it's battles like this that make people think that Halberds are useless. I'm going to show you two more misconceptions, two more wrong ways that people use the unit. And then I'm going to show you how to rectify the situation. Let's fight the battle again here. Alright, so this time instead of enabling guard mode, I'm just going to enable spear wall. And... We're going to go with kind of a balanced formation. We're just going to march straight towards those dismounted Polish knights. And again, not going to micro anything. Just going to let the battle play out on six times speed. Let's get you guys a nice view here. So you can see they charge right into my general. And we are killing a couple of them there. We're doing a little bit better. Uh, but we're not doing great. We've gotten them down to 28 men, so we are doing some damage. Oh, but there they go. They killed our general. We got them down to half strength, but I don't think we're going to get them much further. So there you go. Uh, we did do a little bit better that time, but we still lost pretty badly. We only killed 23 of them at the end of the day. Let me show you one last improper way to utilize Swiss Pike, Swiss Pikemen, Swiss Guard. Uh, there is a unit called Swiss Pikemen for France, but uh, that is not what we're utilizing here. All right, let me show you guys one last misconception here about the Swiss Guard and halberds in general. We've tried a really 
balance formation using spear wall and just marching at him. We've tried a really defensive formation using guard mode and holding our ground. Let's do a really aggressive formation. And let's just charge these Polish Knights straight up. So here we go. Let's see how it turns out. Lord <laughs> Our general gets killed pretty quickly. And you can see here they're starting to concave our formation pretty well. Down to uh, 23 men to 38. Although we are we are killing quite a few of them. Uh, but even if we won this at this point, it wouldn't be a good value trade for us. But you can see being aggressive with them, you can get a little bit of value out of there. We managed to kill 19 of them. And if I had spread my guys out even further to maximize my charge bonus, I could have probably killed... E even a few more than that so now that we've seen all the wrong ways to use halberds let me show you the right ways here so very similar to pikemen halberds don't work well alone if you just send one halberd versus one dismounted knight unit you're gonna lose basically every time even if you use this tactic because the charge bonus just you don't have 60 men like the pikemen so you can't afford to lose those men on the charge but let me show you a two-on-two. Two. It can be very effective in this manner. So let me grab two Swiss Guard, and I'm going to give them two units dismounted Chivalric Knights. And the strategy we're going to employ is going to be very similar to what we did with Pikemen, just a little bit different. So ranks do not matter as much. We can do two ranks, and we're going to do double thick again here just stacked up right like this start the battle guard mode disactivated spear mode activated let's march towards them and speed up the battle and we're gonna halt here as they get ready to charge in and we're gonna do the exact same thing as we did with the pikes once they charge in here as soon as they hit those halberds backspace attack And now you can see we are totally destroying those Chivalric Knights. Other unit comes in, backspace attack another time. And as you can see, we are just completely massacring these Chivalric Knights. And look at that. We only lost 31 Swiss Guard and killed almost 80 of them. And we could have taken all these guys prisoners too. So when you have them doubled up like that, they can be very effective. Let me show you a couple variations of this tactic as well here. But you can see we generated a pretty good amount of value. The issue, however, is that I spent a ton of money to do that, buying two Swiss Guard. Each of those costing just under 900 a pop. Those Chivalric Knights only cost 610. But what if I can dramatically decrease the amount of money I spend? Let's just do one Swiss Guard and one Pike Militia. We're going to combine these two tactics here and see if we can't take on two dismounted chivalric knights. If we can pull this off, it'll be a much more effective value trade because those pike militia only cost 150. So, here's how I'm going to do it. Pikemen, three ranks deep. Halberds, two ranks deep. And I definitely do not want my Swiss Guard on the front line because I don't want them to die on the charge. I want my inexpensive pike militia to die on the charge so just speeding up the battle holding my ground here and as soon as the enemy gets close I'm gonna start to slow down the battle and we're gonna do the exact same strategy as we always do backspace attack and you can see we start to get those initial stabs in on them and look at that the Swiss Guard advanced through the pikes and they are just totally massacring another backspace attack order and look at that. Look at how badly we are massacring these guys. And there we go. A heroic victory out of that one. And look at that incredible value trade. I only lost 34 men. And most of them, I only lost 7 Swiss Guard. Let's look at the statistics. Swiss Guard casualty sustained 8. Casualties inflicted 67. 
They only lost eight men and killed a unit and a half of dismounted chivalric knights. Because the pike militia with those pikes were holding them at bay so the Swiss guard could kill them. Very effective combo strategy here. Very heavy value generation. Now, this is a pretty good tactic. But this is vanilla. Let me show you how powerful this can be on an expansion. I'll join you over in Crusades in just a moment, and I'll show you how powerful this can be on an expansion. Alright, so I'm hearing a little replay from Crusades. Now, in this battle, I've got one unit of Peasants and one unit of Swiss Guard. And what am I up against, you ask? The best unit in the game here in Crusades, the Cannons of the Holy Sepulcher. These guys have two hit points each, and insane stats. And I have one unit of peasants, one unit of Swiss Guard. Now I'm showing you this in the context of a little village siege here because I want to show you the power these guys can generate in little gaps like this. Halberds can hold these against anything, especially in the ex expansions. This will work well in vanilla, but it works so well here in the expansions. So, got the game sped up, and the Cannons of the Holy Sepulchre coming in. Here they go. They're going to impact with my peasants and don't care. They can kill as many peasants as they want. But now my Swiss Guard are going to advance through the peasants. And let's speed it up here. Swiss Guard Halberd's going down. And look at this. We are destroying these cannons of the Holy Sepulchre. Now they're certainly killing some of my Swiss Guard. But remember, as Antioch, you can only get one of these cannons of the Holy Sepulchre before the cost starts to go up. As Papal states, I can get four Swiss Guard before I start having to pay it more for them. We have lost half of our men. They cost about the same Swiss Guard versus cannons of the Holy Sepulchre for the first unit. But for the second, third, and fourth units of cannons of the Holy Sepulchre, it's going to start costing a lot more as Antioch. But as you can see, my Halberd's starting to get that really powerful stabbing animation. Look at that guy. He's destroying the general right there. And let's just continue to see how this plays out. You can see my Swiss Guard still have 11 men left. And there we go. The enemy general is dead. We have set the enemy are overcome. This Let's look at the stats victory. here from this Worthy heroic victory. Of of now my Swiss Guard, now remember, this is against Cannons of the Holy Sepulchre. These guys have two hit points each, like a General's Bodyguard. I lost 38 Swiss Guard, killed 45 Cannons of the Holy Sepulchre. That is an insane amount of value that can be generated from those guys, especially in these expansions. Well, thank you guys so much again for joining me. We really appreciate you guys watching these videos. Please don't forget to like, to comment, and subscribe. Again, we look forward to impressing you with much, much more incredible Medieval 2 and other Total War content to come. So stay tuned, and stay tuned especially with the Tower Project.